what we find generally with these gritty crime novels or with private detective stories, things like that, a lot of the time they're first person. If we start to think, why would that genre be in this particular point of view? That can be really helpful. And this is something that we can iterate for any genre and subgenre that we want to look at. Most importantly, also find the exceptions to that point of view and look at how those stories are different. And then you can start to contrast what the author is trying to do in each of these types of situations. One thing that, that stands out for me looking at this kind of detective fiction it is that first versus third. And I'm thinking about the Maltese Falcon for example, as an exception to the rule where it's third person. Thinking about the experience of going through those different types of stories, when you have the first person I, you're kind of on the edge of your seat because you are riding along with that person. There's an opponent process going on where it's an explicit author so it asks you to evaluate the person of the author in a more explicit way than if it's in third person, the author can fade into the background and you integrate with them more seamlessly than as a conscious process of determining how much you agree with the author. I think that's one dynamic that's going on. But also you put yourself in their shoes more because you're riding along with their interiority of their experience. Whereas in third person, you do pull back and it asks you to evaluate the events a little bit more. So what I mean by opponent process, there are components of these first and third person experiences that pull you closer and that bring you farther away. So overall, it gives it a different effect. 